he now has to. Oh man, that looks. He looked. He looked tough. in pain. He looked like he was in pain there. That's pretty tough. But uh, you know, dog now. Um, with the Warrior victory, just has to win with Spiteful Drew, and that's been one of the best performing decks of the current meta. To be fair, uh, the lineup that, that Muzzy has remaining, his two decks, they have Odd Rogue and this, this sort of board flood style of Druid deck, those feel like they ought to be fairly strong against Spiteful Druid. They can put on a lot of pressure really fast, and there's no great response to a wide board from his deck. That's right. Um, so I, I guess that could work out, but the Spiteful Druid is also much better at the mid stages of the game because Muzzy will be busy ramping with a token Druid. So even though uh, Spiteful Druid should hypothetically struggle with those wider boards, considering they don't have as much AoE or ways to answer it, uh, the fact remains that Spiteful Druid, at least on paper, is favoring his token Druid with his statistics, uh, partially because because I, you know, you're ramping, so play a Cobalt Scale Band, and then how do you answer if you don't have like the, you know, the swipe and the Spellstone? It could be really tough. Um, and, then, and then, of course, you also factor in just the Spiteful Summoner getting to rant. Right. You yeah. can't actually answer that as a token druid. That said, the, the token style sure. druid is, is much more consistent in doing its thing because it has wild growth and uh, the, the you know, ability to cycle, draw cards. Uh, but you don't need to be consistent when you just draw Kaliseth 3D Sprite, Spiteful oh Summoner, and goodness. Cobalt Scalebane in your opening hand as Dog wow. has right now. So if there's, a, if there's a game that you want to have this powerful of a draw, it is the one we were playing to go to the championship, and that's exactly what Dog has. And Muzzy, no wild growth, so he's going to have to have a slow start while Dog comes out of the gates with quite the powerful yeah. hand. Pretty much the ideal hand um, from Dog. Barring that he doesn't draw double ultimate infestation at this moment. Muzzy can wrath, cycle, and draw at the moment because I think his hand is looking really weak. But outside of that, his plays are very limited this turn. It seems like instead he wants to take it a little bit slow and, and account for the worst possible scenario, which is not having anything next turn either. I think the worst possible scenario may just be Dog's hand. Oh, jeez. Except Malfurion, so an, a great tool to continue to push damage. Okay. Wild Growth is a good draw for Muzzy. It, it gives him the ability to, uh, to start getting his own uh, plan online much faster. Mm -hmm. yeah. And now he can save uh, Wrath for a Nourish. So if Dog curves out with Sternite Chain Gang, because uh, most likely your opponent on the coin will want to save the coin for Spiteful Summoner. You can answer it with that Nourish Wrath play. Muzzy has Spreading Plague, but not really a uh, exciting one. It does slow down some of the damage on the board. Spreading Plague's usefulness, especially with one mind control tech being played, is often when you can combine Spreading Plague and Soul the Forest against the Spiteful Druid. Sure. It kind of sets your opponent up in a lose-lose situation. They either leave up these annoying taunts that they'll never take down and you buff them with Branching Plaths, or they clear the, the one fives and then you Savage Roar them down. Yep. So that is one way that Muzzy can win and you, have to, you can turn board states around. Yeah. Muzzy has a Nourish here, which you know, he could ramp up and try and find exactly that opportunity that we just mentioned. Yeah, he, he will ramp up to eight mana, gonna have nine next turn. <laughs> uh, Muzzy Spellstone has actually upgraded very naturally because yeah. he's gear powered every oh, single turn possible. <laughs> it's true. But um, he does have the Spreading Plague and Spellstone, or the Soul of the Horse combo that we talked about. So if he waits a turn for more development, that's exactly what he's looking for. And that's why Dog really needs to hit a 12-12 now more than ever if he wants to close out this series this game. I think an 8-8 would do. I think it would do. <laughs> it's true, it's just that. He'd love to get a 12-12. Every bit it. of damage will matter, I think. All right, how about a 7-14? <laughs> We've seen a lot of Ultrasaurs this weekend. Uh, welcome to Jurassic Bark. I get it. <laughs> TJ liked it. He's, he's <laughs> I can, he's, his face is just on the table across the stage, but... Uh, <laughs> yeah. The spreading play comes out for Muzzy here, who can pick off some more minions, especially with Wrath plus Spellstone, to stop the uh, the big dino from having a chance to get in his face here. Mm -hmm. Ooh, so he does have the the holy trio of spreading plague, soul of the forest, threatening out with branching paths, um, or even the savage roar. Like all those are really good options. 
I mean, this is something that people don't really talk about, which is how Token Druid can, is not only just a really threatening deck by presenting the Whispering Woods, but it's also a, a good counter hit deck. Where it's, it's like true. you extend really far, and then it's like, oh, guess what? I actually uh, ramped up so far ahead that you played directly into my trap card or trap cards. Yeah, the, the, the ability to just like turn the corner. Uh, with the, the the plague soul of the forest plus roar slash paths or roar plus paths uh, is very real and spiteful druid is a deck that doesn't have uh, that much ability to, to really defend itself you do have the opportunity to you know maybe play a, a druid of the scythe you have uh, Theranet chain gangs yep but those can't get in the way of that many uh, gigantic okay, roaring minions yeah and, and stuff like this second mind control tech is uh, not actually like that bad of a thing sometimes too, because again, the more minions that stack onto your opponent's side, the, the bigger of a case that you can make for the big spreading plague soul of the forest response. Assuming that Muzzy doesn't want to be even more patient, given that Dog has curved out really well, Muzzy doesn't have that much life to work with, so he can't be super duper patient here. The rage. You charge this. He is going to. He wants just wants to get blood. Second Savage 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 roar. roar. Okay. Muzzy has his hand on his throat trying to stay calm and really play this out, but this is something that he's been waiting for for a while, and both mind control techs have been played. And, and Muzzy has roar, roar, branching paths. It's maximum so damage. That that gives him plus six attack on every minion, plus four attack on his hero. Yes, which is why that attack is also really valuable, in case he just needs to get past with uh, his own um, hero power. Now, fearing the Pestilent, though, is... I think a really valuable card in this position for Dog. When your opponent goes for a Spreading Plague in Soul of the Forest, it's pretty clear that he either wants to, to burst you immediately, or he's just setting up for the, the, the top deck to do it. So Malfurion the Pestilent sets up the best wall against what his opponent's gonna do, mm -hmm. and that might give him the stall potential to last long enough for things like his Scalebane and his uh, uh, Grand Archivist to if, work. If, if Dog does not make a defensive play in some way this turn, oh, no. Muzzy has lethal. This Glacial Shard has to freeze something. Yeah, I, I think you freeze a 2-2 two, yeah. two for maximum damage, but does that mean so that here, he's safe? So here, there's four attackers, so that's, what, uh, Five. 24, 25, 26, 27, 20, 29. I, is this just still lethal? This is lethal. Wow. I, I think Dog do had to play Malfury in that turn. How do you play around double damage or branching paths? And maybe two of those cards are reasonable, which maybe Dog hedged against. Like, yeah, if he has branching I'm paths. I'm pretty sure my math is right here, right? The, the, the two roars give, let him attack for four. The rest of the board is plus six. So it's 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. Yeah, that's just lethal damage from Muzzy here. Muzzy has counter hit with double savage roar, branching paths. <laughs> Look at Dog's face. Ruh row. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! <laughs> Dog can't believe it. That is so much burst out of nowhere from this token druid deck. Uh, yeah, twenty-nine damage coming in and keeping Muzzy alive in this match. We're going to game five. One last game to decide it all. Dog wasn't even mad. He was impressed. <laughs> I think he was, uh, he was just a little taken aback there. Just, was what? Not something he was expecting <laughs> whatsoever. And that Druid versus Druid ended up going Muzzy's way. And again, that token Druid, I can't sleep on it. We're kind of hinting at the, the, the swing back, the, the crack back, if you will, with the Soul of the Forest. And it kind of set up in a no-win situation, it, but he did have that option with Malfurion. Granted, the Cobalt Skillbane play was his best offensive option, and I think I can't blame Dog. First of all, his opponent has to have three cards to burst. Yes. Second of all, you are setting up for a potential way to lethal your opponent because he can burst with Malfurion from the hand or a Grand Archivist while setting up Scalebane and all this damage out. His opponent was in the teens of health. Can you really be upset at Dog for setting up that potential avenue of success? It's, it's a tough situation because you know the exact combination of cards that you're trying to set yourself to play up to play around. It had to be exactly roar, roar, branching paths in order for you to potentially die from that mm -hmm. spot. And you know if you play a little bit more defensively with Malfurion, do you give your opponent a window that right. maybe they can get back into the game in another way by by killing off uh, some of your minions on the board? It's not entirely clear. Tough amount of questions, but the one answer and conclusion we came to is that there is going to be game five right after this.